Hello students, welcome to my channel, Genial Education. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. In this lecture, we are going to solve problem 2.7, chapter number 2, the working fluid from the book Applied Thermodynamics by T.D. Stop and McConkie. The problem statement of 2.7 problem is the relative molecular mass of carbon dioxide is 44. In an experiment, the value of gamma for carbon dioxide was found to be 1.3. Assuming that carbon dioxide is a perfect gas, calculate the specific gas constant at the specific heat capacities at constant pressure and constant volume. So first of all uh, we will write the given data. We have given the relative molecular mass of carbon dioxide that is represented by m bar which is also called molar mass and it is 44. The unit of molar mass is kilogram per kilo mole. Similarly, the value of gamma or it is also called adiabatic index. Its value is 1.3 for carbon dioxide. It is triatomic gas and it has value gamma. 1.3. We will assume that carbon dioxide is a perfect gas and also we will find three things. First, to calculate the specific gas constant or it is also called particular gas constant and the specific heat capacities Cp and Cv these are specific heat capacities at constant pressure and at constant volume so coming to the solution first we will find the value of R for, for that if we use the simple expression that is the relationship between universal gas constant or molar gas constant that is R bar with specific gas constant that is R bar is equal to M, da, M bar R here we know the value of M bar and the value of R bar for all types of perfect gases is taken as 8.3143 kilojoule per kilo mole per kilo one. So this is the value of R bar. Now to find the value of R simply we will rearrange this expression r is equal to r bar by m bar so putting the values r bar value is 8.3143 kilojoule per kilo mole per kilo one kilojoule per kilo mole per kilo one divided by value of m bar is 44 kilogram per kilo mole. So this kilo mole will cancel with this and we will get the value of R. R is equal to 0 0.189 kilojoule 
per kilogram per kilowatt. Here is difference in R and R bar. Similarly, there will be difference in between the units of these terms. R bar has unit kilo joule per kilo mole per kilo one, and the unit of R sample R or particular gas constant is kilo joule per kilogram per kilo one. Similarly. to find the value of cp and cv their specific heat capacities at constant pressure and constant volume respectively so we have a relationship that is cp minus cv is equal to r that's this is expression a also we know that gamma is equal to cp by C. Further, if we rearrange this, so C P will be equal to gamma into C V. So the value of gamma is given over here, and it is 1.3. So it is 1.3 into C V. So putting the value of C P, C P equal to 1. Cv. Let's suppose this is expression B. So putting this B expression in expression A. So expression A will become Cp will be replaced by 1.3 Cv minus Cv is equal to. R. So it is further equal to 1.3 minus 1. It is 0.3 times Cv equal to R. So to find the value of Cv, it will become further equal to R by 0.3. The value of R is calculated recently, and its value is 0.189. Kilo joule per kilogram. So, kilo joule per kilogram per kilowatt, and it will be divided by 0.3. So, the value of CV comes out 0.63 kilo joule per kilogram per kilowatt. first we found the value of r then the value of cv and now we will find the value of cp so it's very easy to find the value of cp because we have this expression b so expression b is equal to cp is equal to 1.3 times of cv you should remember that cp value is always greater than cv that's why the value of gamma is greater than unity r1 always so cp is equal to 1.3 into 0.63 so when we multiply this we will get the value of cp That is zero point eight one nine kilo joule per kilogram per kilo. So we found the values of R, CV, and CP as required in this problem. So this is all about problem two point seven. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment on my videos. Also subscribe my channel to get new videos.